so good morning and jai hind everybody today we are discussing the chapter mensuration and we are discussing the comet portion of mensuration right now so i want you all to please take out your comet take out page number page number 105 and question number 5 we are going to do right now okay so question number 5 has a figure okay let us see this question number 5 has figure and the figure is little like this i am drawing the figure as well so who are doing this question on their maths copies they will be also drawing the figure and th those who are doing in the comet directly they will not draw the figure the figure is already drawn okay okay so this is the figure students and it is having the name a this is b this is c this is d this is g this is h this is e and this is f okay this is given as 20 meter this is given as 15 meter and here we it is given ah is equals to ed this is also given in the question and this is given 6 meter fine and this is 8 meter now students the question what i am having right now let me read it the land owner of the given figure wants to donate half of the land for school and half of the land for the hospital find the area of the land given to school and hospital separately what charity would you like to do for such hospitals okay so let us first do the question it means if the person is giving the land owner is giving this figure in two different parts two equal parts to one of uh, he is giving to school and one of he is giving to hospital so iske liye if he is distributing this thing into two equal parts may i know from from, from your side if we are taking out the area of this particular figure may i know from you all that can you find out area of this figure easily my question to all of you is can you find out the area of this figure easily like area of rectangle area of square area of triangle no okay your answer is no and now your answer is no why let me tell you because this figure is not rectangle this figure is not square as well okay this figure is not triangle as well agar aap is figure ko gaur se dekhte ho beta so this is not rectangle this is not square this is not triangle as well this figure is little different from other figures okay so in that way what can we do is i am asking from you tell me faster by using your chat box what can be the way how can we take out the area of this entire figure in a easier way think of it and tell me okay very good very nice yes avantika we can do that way rest of the students also please tell me please help me with how can we do this question we have many uh, things we can do it okay some are telling ma'am by splitting okay great some are telling ma'am we can do it uh, we can divide it in different different parts and then we can do it okay that is also a great idea fine okay or or more think more how can we uh, get the area of this particular figure because this figure is not square this figure is not rectangle this figure is not triangle which formula you know oh great so i have started getting the answer i think i have got almost 15 or 16 responses till now very good ojal has also responded very good now remember students i have got your answers and now i am telling you that what you have written on the in the answers some of the students are telling that ma'am please split it okay some some of the students are telling that ma'am we can divide it in different part okay some of the students are telling that ma'am we can also do it in dividing in three different parts and then we can solve it okay great ahe so all the answers are right now let's choose a easier way which can do this question in a easiest and the simplest way what we can do is 
if you think i'm asking you have to reply yes or no can i do this part can i is part ko add kar do matlab like i will add this line and i divide the i will take out the area of this entire portion which i have shaded right now aur us portion mein se main itna portion hata do what do you think the entire area will come or not answer in the chat box yes or no if i take out the area of entire portion which was given and then i subtract this one from it what do you think the answer will come or not okay i am telling you once again suppose i am telling you in a another way suppose mere paas ye wala portion hai theek hai this is the portion अगर इस पोर्शन के पूरे एरिया में से अगर मैं इतना पोर्शन कट आउट कर दूं, ठीक है इतना पोर्शन कट आउट कर दूं, तो ये वाला पोर्शन हट जाएगा अब बचेगा यही फिगर जो क्वेश्चन में दिया था वॉट डू यू से कैन वी डू दिस विल इट बी इजियर टेल मी विल इट बी इजियर ओके सो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ दी स्टूडेंट्स आर टेलिंग दैट येस मैम इट विल बी द मोर इजियर वे ओके now how it is the more easier we let let us understand actually me this is the easiest way now let us understand how but please do not think that this is only the way you can do in another way as well as you want it but i am choosing the easiest way where we can how we can do it but if you think your method is the more simple one you can also go ahead with your own method okay let's try this तो so, सबसे पहले आई एम टेकिंग आउट द एरिया ऑफ दिस पोर्शन नाउ सी दट डायमेंशन दिस इज गिवन ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज गिवन फिफ्टीन इफ आई एम टेकिंग आउट द एरिया ऑफ दिस इंटायर पोर्शन मे आई नो फ्रॉम यू दैट वॉट विल बी द एरिया टेल मी फास्टर एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी टेल मी फास्टर वॉट विल बी द एरिया very good very nice it will be 20 into 15 which will give us 300 square meter question was in meter okay correct this is the one way we have done it answer is 300 square meter ab now i am taking this smaller portion ab i main baat kar rahi hu us chote wale area ki this smaller portion now the name is this is h this is e this is f and this is g e f g h e f g h the name is area of e f g h okay now see the dimension it is given 8 meter and this is given 6 meter may i know from you that what will come if we will take out the area of smaller portion very good you can see your own uh, copy as well uh, own comment as well yes absolutely correct students 8 into 6 right it will give you 48 square meter absolutely correct now what should be the next step can you please write it down in the chat box what is the next step what can we do now next wonderful very nice very very nice students If we remove this portion from this, अगर हम इस पोर्शन को हटा देते हैं तो वी विल बी लेफ्ट विद द सेम फिगर विच वी गॉट इन द क्वेश्चन सो यस सो यहां पर आ जाएगा एरिया ऑफ लैंड इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस फोर्टी एट नाउ वी विल सब्रैक्ट दिस एंड मे आई नो फ्रॉम यू ऑल दैट वॉट वी विल गेट इट what do you say what we will get it 252 square meter we got the area of land yes now the person is dividing this land into two equal parts into two equal parts so may i know from you all that if we divide 252 into two equal parts one for hospital one for a school may i know what portion will everybody get okay rishab once again divided beta once again you divided i am thinking you are doing little wrong okay sanath fine okay arav fine i want answer from everybody 
if we divide 252 into two equal parts what answer do are you getting yes very correct very correct oh great so i i can see now there are multiple answers and everybody is writing the same answer 126 if you divide 252 into two equal parts your answer will be 126 meter square theek hai it means the school will get 126 square meter and also the hospital will also be getting 126 only so here we'll write it down school hospital 126 sorry 252 divided by 2 will give us 126 square meter okay square meter because everything was going on square meter only and this will also be 126 square meter the same now the question says that what other we can do for hospitals can you please tell me what other charity you can do it for hospital i welcome your answers and suggestions tell me please uh, please tell me faster i welcome your suggestions what can you do for charity for such hospitals okay very good very good suggestion i am wanting answer from everybody you can simply raise hand also if you want to speak and you want to give the answer in a oral way yes so here the answer is area so now we have we will sum up all the question the area is measured in square units the length of the total boundary of a closed figure is known as perimeter we cannot find the perimeter if the given figure is an open three sided figure because it is not having closed boundary so that is why we cannot find out perimeter of it then the measure of the region enclosed by a plane figure is called area now question number next if each side of a square is one unit then area is greater than perimeter perimeter is greater than area area equal to perimeter or none can you please tell me okay you can use in your mind if side is one unit if side is one unit means perimeter will become 4 into 1 that is 4 area will become 1 into 1 that is 1 so which is coming greater perimeter is coming greater so here the answer will come second option perimeter is greater than area if the side is one unit now what happen to the area of square when its side is when its side will become half can you please tell me tell me faster agar kisi square ki side ko hum half kar de if suppose it was 4 4 ko humne 2 kar diya theek hai so what impact will be there in its area tell me faster okay absolutely correct answer the answer will become 1/4 okay it will become 1/4 beta yes you are right it will become 1/4 move on to the next question each side of a square is equal to perimeter divided by 4 perimeter into 4 perimeter plus side and done sorry sorry last one is none correct answer perimeter divided by 4 if you have to find out the side of a square and you have been given perimeter the you had you can take out the side by perimeter divided by 4 yes the first option perimeter divided by 4 now move on to the last mcq that is a rectangle has perimeter 72 meters perimeter is 72 okay the length is thrice of its breadth the length is thrice of its breadth find its breadth can you tell me if the length is thrice of its breadth find its breadth tell me faster how can we do this question and what answer do you think it will come okay fine 
okay can we use it can we use algebra and do this question what do you say can we do can we use algebra and do this question can we try this question what do you say do you want me to tell this question on the board let us try this this question actually needs algebra beta okay this question actually needs algebra so i want you all on your maths copy if you don't if you have not opened your maths copy open your maths copy note it down the heading of this question let us do solution of this question and then we will complete more challenging part okay so i want you all to note it down this question on your maths copy right now question number last of mcq okay i am going to tell you how can we do this question the question is telling question number 8 is this okay a rectangle has perimeter 72 sabse pehle hum likh lete hain yahan par perimeter we know perimeter and perimeter is 72 let written now 72 meter now it is telling if the length is thrice of breadth so yahan par beta breadth bhi nahi pata hai aur length bhi nahi pata hai theek hai so if you don't know any of the thing what is that that is unknown can you please tell me length is thrice of breadth so which can you assume if we take breadth as x may i know from you that what will be length tell me faster it is telling length is thrice of breadth length is thrice of breadth correct very good it will become thrice of breadth means 3x great idea correct answer ek ho gaya 3x ek ho gaya x now comes the formula of perimeter so perimeter is given 72 humne rakh liya 72 what is the formula of perimeter of rectangle students please tell me in the chat box what is the formula of perimeter of rectangle tell me faster for rectangle what is the formula of perimeter very good very nice absolutely correct it's 2 into length plus breadth yes 2 into length plus breadth is the formula for finding perimeter now this is equal to 72 okay now let's put the value which we already know so 2 ki jagah par 2 length we know as 3x so humne rakh diya yahan par 3x plus breadth ki jagah par i will place x is equals to 72 now you are going to help me how can we do this solution now sabse pehle tell me what will come out from the bracket let us solve equation kaise solve karte hain i have taught you tell me 3x plus 1x what will come great very good 3x plus 1x what will come i want reply from all of you yes i have got so many answer but i want answer from everybody okay you can give wrong answer also but please respond in the chat box yes very good three pencil plus one pencil answer comes one four pencil same way 3x plus 1x answer will give you 4x okay this is written 2 and this is 72 now may i know from you 2 into 4x what will come 2 into 4x what do you think answer can come yes you can guess the answer yes it can be the right answer yes sanat you are right krishna kunal you are right other students also please try 2 into 4 what comes everybody knows yes correct answer 2 into 4 gives you 8 so 8x is equals to 72 ab hum aage question ki last line pe now may i know what answer will be there for x 8x is equals to 76 means x ki value aa gayi aapke paas 72 by 8 which will give you 9 so what was x x was breadth x was breadth so yahan par humko answer kya mila breadth is 9 meter breadth is 9 meter now everybody has completed i believe and what will be the length can you please tell me if the breadth is 9 can you please tell me what will become length what do you think yes very good 
students are very smart in my class yes it will become 27 9 threes are 27 meter correct answer so this question is also completed now move on to the more challenging question and we will finish this up i am rubbing the board now moving on to the more challenging part so question number 1 of more challenging is what will happen the area of rectangle if the dimension of length is same and the breadth is double okay see if you have normal length and breadth theek hai so the area of rectangle becomes length into breadth i hope everybody of you know if length is length breadth is breadth the formula becomes l into b now the question is telling ki if we keep length as length and we double the breadth double matlab kya hota hai 2 into b that will be 2b so if we do this change what will happen to area okay what will happen to area so the formula will remain same everybody of us know that formula will re remain same only that l into b b ki jagah par ho jayega beta 2b as we have done it double so it will become 2b so ultimately how can we write this number will come in front and lb will remain same it means whatever was the area earlier now it will get double okay it will get doubled so this will be the answer you will write it down area will become double question number 1 is completed note it down on your comi in your comi beta do it faster okay now move on to the next question if the values of area and perimeter of a square are equal then what will be the value of each side of square इस क्वेश्चन को आप अपने मन से आंसर मुझे बताइए वी आर नॉट नीडिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ सॉल्यूशन फॉर इट आई एम आस्किंग फ्रॉम यू ओनली ऐसा कौन सा नंबर हम यूज करें जिसमें हम स्क्वायर का एरिया निकालें तब भी सेम आंसर आए और स्क्वायर का पेरीमीटर निकालें तब भी सेम आंसर आए अब नाउ यू यूज योर माइंड एंड टेल मी वॉट शुड बी द आंसर डू नॉट सी दट कोमेट आंसर एंड टेल मी एरिया भी सेम आना चाहिए और पेरीमीटर भी सेम आना चाहिए थिंक ऑफ इट विच नंबर ऑफ विच नंबर कैन यू टेक इन द प्लेस ऑफ साइड ऐसी कौन सी वैल्यू हम साइड में रखें कि जब आप एरिया निकालो तब भी जो आंसर आना चाहिए वही सेम आंसर पेरीमीटर पे भी आना चाहिए थिंक ऑफ इट गैस do not watch the answer from the comet and tell me think of it how the answer is 4 yes let me tell you student if you have the value of side is 4 unit then only both will become equal otherwise not okay now see i am telling you how if you take side as 4 area will become 4 into 4 16 square unit okay and if you take perimeter yes perimeter will also become 4 into side that is 4 into 4 which will also give you 16 unit theek hai both the answer 16 will come when you will have the answer side as 4 unit in place of 4 there cannot be any number except 4 then only both will come same otherwise it will not come same this is completed is it understood reply please yes or no faster reply please yes or no have you got it now next question it is telling the cost of fencing a rectangular field at rupees 30 per meter is 2400 the length of the length is 24 meter find the breadth find the breadth cost of 
fencing what do you know about fencing may i know from you what do you know about fencing fencing means which term you are going to find perimeter or area okay correct perimeter right ritisha right avantika correct right sanat yes krishna correct yes manya correct okay so absolutely correct beta jab bhi hum baat karte hain the word fencing that means we are talking about perimeter so question number 3 is telling we know the cost of fencing is 2400 rupees okay and we are also knowing that it is giving you the cost when 1 meter costing is 30 rupees so if we have to find out perimeter we can simply take out ki is yahan par kitna length of wire use kiya gaya hoga 1 meter mein 30 rupees lagta hai total aapne kharch kiya 2400 means kitna wire use hua hoga can you please tell me 1 meter jab hum kharch karte hain costing to 30 rupees lagta hai total costing kharch hui hai 2400 what do you say How much is the perimeter? How much is the length of wire which was used? Use unitary method and tell me. Okay, correct answer. Twenty four hundred divided by thirty. It will become eighty. Yes, it will become eighty. Yes, your answer is right. It will become eighty meter of wire. Yes. ठीक है सो यहां पर आ गया टोटल वायर इज यूज दैट इज 80 मीटर इट मींस वी गॉट पेरीमीटर एंड व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ पेरीमीटर बेटा 2 इंटू लेंथ प्लस ब्रेथ इज इक्वल्स टू 80 नाउ यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एल्जेब्रा व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड जिसकी वैल्यू आपको पता है उसकी वैल्यू वहां पर रखिए एंड सॉल्व इट हाउ वी विल डू दैट द लेंथ इज गिवन ट्वेंटी so in place of length i will place 24 breadth i don't know so i will place b only is equals to 80 now solve one by one step how can we solve it this is 2 in multiply it will go that side what will come it will go and divide in the form of solution when we were doing the algebra how we were doing it it will go and divide so it will become 24 plus b is equals to 80 divided by 2 which will give us 40 so 24 plus b is equals to 40 now may i know the next step and tell me what will be the value of b what is the value of b think of it faster yes correct waiting the waiting for the answer of other students as well what do you think the answer of breadth okay correct the breadth is equal to 40 minus 26 24 it will become the breadth is equal to 40 minus 24 and the answer will become 16 meter length was given 24 and the breadth will come 16 completed students now move on to the next question it is telling question number 4 of more challenging the length of the breadth of a room is 15 length is 15 breadth is 12 in meters the length of what is given here length of another uh, can you please read it uh, can you please read it because uh, i am not able to read it what is written here yes yes correct thank you thank you so much anand yes it is written we have two rooms one is a room one room is there rectangular room another room is given as a square room theek hai now it is given the rectangular room has length and breadth this and square room has the side 16 meter 
ओके नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रेशियो ऑफ देयर पेरीमीटर एंड एरिया आई थिंक दिस क्वेश्चन इज सिंपल डायमेंशंस आर गिवन वी हैव टू ओनली टेक आउट देयर पेरीमीटर एंड एरिया सेपरेटली तो सबसे पहले व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर कीपिंग दिस पार्ट इन टू डिफरेंट वे वन वन आई एम राइटिंग योर रेक्टेंगल in the second way i am writing your square now first we will take out perimeter here also we will take out perimeter so the perimeter of formula is 2 into length plus breadth all of you please try on your main maths book or maths copy or maybe in comet wherever you are doing it and this formula will become 4 into side so this is 4 into 16 because side is given 16 in this it will give you 64 meter and here the perimeter will come 2 into 15 plus 12 which will give us 27 which will give us 54 meter now we got perimeter of both the figures the same way we will also take out the area of both the figures so the area is length into breadth which will give us 15 into 12 which will give us 180 square meter and this side when you will take out area it will become 16 into 16 which will give us 256 square meter students i have taken out okay zainab i have taken out area and perimeter both in both the cases can you find out the ratio and tell me can you find out ratio and tell me what will be the answer tell me faster what will be the ratio of perimeter what will be the ratio of their area think of it yes ratio of perimeter will become 54 upon 64 and when you will solve it it will give you 27 and it will give you 32 more it will not cancel yes it will not cancel more 27 by 27 and ratio 32 now it is telling you have to also find out the ratio of area so what will come here it will come 180 divided by 256 now you will simply cancel this as well yes you can cancel it by 4 and when you will cancel it by 4 it will give you 45 ratio it will give you 64 yes this is completed 45 ratio 64 and earlier one it will come 27 ratio 32 now students for today this much is i think fine last two questions we will be discussing it on the next day only